in the city. The other afternoon I was in here <clears throat> before church and killed a doe. So I figured, hey, I might as well come back in here and get a second. I'm in the city, and like I've already mentioned, there's houses all around us, and this is just a little wood lot. And uh, these deer honestly need thinning out. I don't think there's enough food for them. I would like, out of this wood lot, I'd like for me and my buddy to take a minimum of four deer out of here. It would be healthier on the deer. There's just not enough food around. And in the neighborhoods, when they go to the neighborhoods, they risk getting hit by cars. And believe me, they do. Either we manage them, or the cars or disease will manage them. So I'm set up to do my part. Beautiful little woodlot. Acorns dropping. Um, I got some corn out. That kind of draws them into one spot for a good shot. I, you would not have to have corn in here with the exception of there's acorns everywhere. And corn is just something different for them to come to. And so they usually feed on acorns and come over to the corn, is what I saw the other afternoon. I'm going to get quiet now. It's, it's a good afternoon. The wind should be right. Well, this was the first one I shot, and I was not real proud of the shot. The other one's over there. Uh, sounds like there's one over there. <laughs> well, here we go. Um, thank the good Lord we got some fresh meat. And as I mentioned to you earlier, 
um, goal was to take, by the time we're done, a minimum of four deer out of that little tiny wood lot, and I think it'll help um, all the deer have more to eat. But I'm thankful to the good Lord for a good hunt, and uh, now it's time to clean them and put them in the uh, cooler. Well, like I mentioned when I started the hunt, um, too many deer in that wood, wood lot. And so when I had an opportunity to take two of them, I did. Not just being greedy, I think it'll help the, capacity, the holding capacity of those deer. I hate cats. <laughs>